see something strange Come with us and you will see This is our town of Halloween This is Halloween, this is Halloween Pumpkins scream in the dead of night All right, we haven't used a whole lot of Halloween music yet And uh, tomorrow, of course, is Halloween But right now, it makes sense to use Halloween music Because Dr. Terror Eyes is in the studio Dr. Terror Eyes. Do you have a special so voice for Dr. Terror Eyes? No. <laughs> well, actually, Dr. Terror Eyes doesn't because he has a mask on. It's oh, so he doesn't talk. His voice, all that goes is... <laughs> and that's about it. So Dr. Terror Eyes is actually Dr. William Ramsey. And I'm sure you, if you know Dr. Ramsey, you know he loves Halloween. And he's dressed up like yeah. a, well, like Dr. Terror Eyes right now. And he's got some interesting things on his costume. Uh, and tomorrow, there's a very special Halloween event. And it's... Uh, uh, well, we're going to learn about it right now. Let me not say anything about it because I might get it wrong. Dr. Ramsey, Dr. Terror Eyes, good to see you. Thanks so much for having me, yeah, A lot of people good to see you. We, a lot of people can see because of you. Yeah. Uh, that, that's true, I guess, yes. It is true, of course. At least I've known Keller for the last nine years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How are you? I'm doing great. I don't think I've seen you in a long, long time. Uh, well... I, I am in and out in touch with you guys, especially Robin, yeah. uh, by email, yeah. and we've uh, been able to to promote a lot of things in Ocala. And and this is just this is my my fond thing in life. You know, for forty years I've been a what's called a home haunter. Really? Is, there's different classifications. For forty of years. Forty years I've been doing this, making props. I know I'm only twenty six. That's right, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Do the math. Um, and I've been creating props and, and scenes and, and items, all kinds of Halloween-related goodies for the last 40 years. And the last seven years, it's just taken off for me. And now I've got guys that are nine feet tall and nine feet wide. Really? I've got small little... Where? Weird. This is all going to be downtown at the Brick tomorrow night. From 6 to 10. Oh, my goodness. This sounds like fun. Yeah, the Alliance of the Arts across from Stella's downtown. Okay, so how, oh, where do I start with this one? How did this start for you? Well, is, is Halloween bigger for you than any other holiday? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It, my yeah. wife and my kids just kind of tolerate it. Oh, and, really? And I have this, you know, our previous house we, we just moved from uh, had a th- the four car garage with one car in it <laughs> so everything else is all my props i build really animated things. are you an actor no, no no an actor wannabe maybe 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 did you did you start so hmm do, do you decorate your house like people do for christmas but is yours decorated for Halloween? well yeah. people decorate the halloween houses now right no. did you do you were you doing this before it was hip to do this oh yeah yeah. Been doing it for years since I was 14. I, I took our first house when I was 14 and enclosed the foyer area with black visqueen and put a black light in there and painted fluorescent ghosts and things. Oh, I mean, at 14, wow. what do you know? But everybody liked it and it kind of just kept going. So, you, so tomorrow it's like a haunted house that we walk through. Well, it's not a haunted house per se, like you're you're, you're thinking of with commercial haunted houses. Right, right, it, right. It's it's. The way the brick is set up, if I have a large art gallery and then there's a patio outside, and as you go through, you'll see the props in many scenes a little bit, but they're all laid out in areas all throughout the art gallery and out on the patio. And there's fog and there's a, a mini cemetery. Oh, and wow. We've got projections and... Any surprises? I mean, that we can't say, but just... A couple things that might surprise you. So, yeah, okay, uh, okay. Of course. Okay, yeah, but we don't want to say what they are. Well, that is scare. It's not Halloween. <laughs> okay, so you. So the point is to scare people. Well, you want them to, to pee themselves, perhaps. <laughs> you know, things like the bladder bladder issues are always fun. Oh, that's it. That's a, that's a sign of success for Halloween. Oh, right? oh, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you go online, look it up. It's the pooping and the peeing in the pants, and you, you, that's, that's right. it. There, w- w- there was a video I was watching, and this shows you what kind of videos I watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was called Spooktacular Naked. Have you ever heard of this? 
no. where you walk through a haunted thing, <laughs> and beca- because there's water involved, they ask you to take your clothes off, which of course means you're going to walk through this thing naked. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Have you done it? Uh, no. No. I don't plan to. Oh, wait. That oh. was a face that says, yes, but I can't say so. Yeah, no. No, no. 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 And, and, and I'd have to wear gloves like these <laughs> if you're going to be an actor there. Yeah, so you don't want to touch something. Uh, you really do want wonderful things because you share your expertise. You'll give a workshop sometimes as to the construction of props and how to do it the right way. Yeah, what I, I love doing is, is sharing what I've learned. And I did, I think, seven major conferences in the U.S. and Canada this year. I did about 18 seminars mm-hmm. teaching people how to make and create small little witches potion bottles or large corpse up skeletons mm-hmm. and I, I, I do that out of, out of fun because I, I care and I want to share I want other people to learn to do these things mm-hmm. a- and the industry is just taken off we, we all share things now online and there's YouTube videos and, and Facebook videos and there's you know so there's actually a, a, a forum uh, the Florida Haunters Group which is based here in Florida. Right. And uh, Deanna Hurlbert, who lives up in Jacksonville, okay. she r- runs the, the organization for the state. But here in Ocala, I host every July, it's called a make and take and social session where people come from all over the state and we sit down and we learn from each other how to make certain things. And I decorate the area and provide food. And, and it's a great social gathering for people in July who are really into Halloween. And I got you, right? That's right, what, right. Uh, again, sharing then. So, so does the technology over the course of the years of you doing this make some things really cool? Or are the low-tech things still the, the, big, the big wows? B- both. Yeah. A startle can be small, like a roach. I th- yeah, I saw hand. that on yeah. the floor out there, and I asked Joe, I said, is this real, or is this part of uh, Dr. Terrori's outfit? Right. Somebody told me, me that he had roaches in his pocket. Yeah, I have, I have like yeah, a couple thousand of these at that's home. That's creepy. <laughs> our kitchen actually decorated our, our house, at our, uh, going back to that for a moment, our house is decorated at Halloween time with all of these props, but I, I've taken the majority of the, the nice ones that are big and are impressive down to the brick downtown to the uh, okay. Art Alliance. All right, all right. So that's where people will find those those items. But our house at home, the entire kitchen was plastered with I don't know a few hundred of these on yeah. the kitchen counters, <laughs> cabinets. So can I just drive through your neighborhood and, and look at your house and be entertained by your house without going in it? No, uh, a, a little bit. Really? Yeah, it's it's it, again I've broken. Do you most invite people into your house? No, oh, uh, for the for our, our party we do. Oh yeah, in, in July we. Oh, that's the that's when we go inside. Yeah, that's okay. that's got everything. Yeah, we had a we have a twenty nine foot cupola in the middle of the house, and I had a guy hanging from it, uh, with a thunderstorm, lightning storm above him, and and wow, a twenty nine foot what cupola? You know, the, what the center it? of your house goes up in the air, and, oh, and windows okay, are on okay. the top. Okay, okay. So it looks. Oh gee. Yeah. Uh, anyway, and he was wow. uh, that was Chad. He was hanging up there. <laughs> Chad. Yeah. <clears throat> are you asked to do? Props like that on movies? Uh, not yet. To the area? No, not 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 yet. Uh-huh. That's the I mean, have the feelers out for that. If someone wants to, they'll approach me. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, I do some nice. You'll, you'll come down to see my work. You'll, you'll see it. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there a way to make a connection between what you do uh, in honor of your sister and what you do for the Halloween? Is there a connection there, or is that two separate things? Two separate things. Okay. Yeah. Is this not the place and time to talk about that? Um, <laughs> well, well. I mean, I don't I, want to throw a curveball, but I don't want to leave her out if we should be talking about her. No, my my my, my sister passed away a, a number of years ago, and after years of domestic violence uh, yeah. with, with her husband, who eventually hospitalized her, and and uh, and then she, she passed away after that. And the domestic abuse center here in Ocala uh, has been a, a warm spot in my heart for years, and when I. Or joined our Freemason Lodge here locally. Our lodge now, we all put together food and money and help these these people out when we can. Okay. And every month I deliver products of foods or, or goods. And a couple days ago I was there and I said, "How are you guys doing? What do you need for Halloween?" And they're like, "Oh, we need food. We need we need uh, snacks and we need drinks and and uh, decorations for the kids." Mm-hmm. So uh, of course I've went in my garage this morning and got a whole bunch of things and my son's going to deliver a bunch of items for Halloween for them to decorate with. Nice. Uh, but I'm asking the Ocala community 
you know, to call the, the uh, women's uh, domestic abuse shelter here in Ocala and, and ask them where where they can drop off foods for the kids. Okay. There's only, okay. I think, 25 to 30 women and, and kids there, and they, mm-hmm. they're only there for, I think, 90 days yes. is, is it the term. Yeah. And I just want to have them have a good time for Halloween, mm-hmm. not be scared, but have fun. Is that yeah. what we did when you do we do a Halloween show or do we do a yeah, Christmas show uh, for Christmas. them? Christmas, yeah. Yeah, and, and I wasn't, I mean, men are not supposed to know where the shelter is. It's a shelter. That's right. To protect the women from That's guys right. who are not good. Right. Mm-hmm. So, but but they let me in. So <laughs> They did. Yeah, yeah, we did a, <laughs> yeah, we did something. Yeah. What, do I give out the number to the six two? Is that the 622 number that's on yeah, the, the Yeah, that number is the, the number anyone would call to ask them where to drop off the items, or perhaps they'll come and pick okay. them up. I, I haven't had a chance to talk to them today. I've been running around like a madman between patients and coming over here. So, so. bottom line is, if you want to help them out, they need a few food and candy, things like that for right. Halloween, maybe decorations. 622-5919, that's the number? That sounds right, yeah. 622-5919. Are you dressed like that when you're doing your patients today? <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, tomorrow, I have my, my dress clothes under this. Oh, what about a little child? Do you do yeah. children? I mean, do you work on children? I, I personally take care of kids ages five and up. Oh, you do? Yeah. So, little kids, no, we have other doctors. Like Which doctors. is worse to have a, a demented doctor, a demented dentist or a demented <laughs> eye doctor? Dentists are cruel. Dentists are cruel. We're easy. Yeah. We, don't, we don't hurt yeah, but the you eyes. Got the eye. yeah. yeah, but if I lose my teeth, I can still talk and talk true. <laughs> you lose your eyes and you're coming to me with now, what do you you know, have? one of these. Well, tell me, tell, tell me, what is that mask? What is that mask? So, so Dr. Terrorize mask is is actually. Do you, is Dr. Terrorize have a whole story around him? Uh, yeah. A, a what little. is the blood? What what did you use? So, what Dr. Terrorize does <laughs> is he he uses see, my, my belt of syringes. He uses this syringe Dexter style. You know, he, he knocks people out. Yeah. And then harvests one of their eyes. He'll take the eye uh-huh. because w- when his sister was murdered he was trying to find out is the image in her eye and, and her eye is frozen is oh, the yeah, image that's yeah, inside yeah. of her eye the image of the murderer when he killed her and then he can find out who it was because no one knows okay. who the murderer was of his sister right. so he's going out harvesting eyes and doing experiments after he takes an eyeball out of somebody <coughs> which is my thing on the belt here and taking out their eye and then he takes it and does experiments with it to look inside to find out how to get the image you know, when he gets the technique down, uh-huh. the image then from his sister's eye to find the murderer. But he's got to go through the, the trials and tribulations of experimentation on other people's eyes. So when he goes around, this is just his... <laughs> his, his <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. So, so that's cool. That's, that's, that's the mask. Wow. So, yeah. so now you're... Oh, oh lift, cool. lift it up again? Yeah, the eyeballs are there. And are they, they... I mean, not real eyeballs, but I mean, are they really they like... What, they're turned on. Oh, they are there. Yeah, they, they glow. Yeah, in the dark... In the dark, you'll stay, they glow, yeah. Wow. Along with the belt. The belt but I mean, has a in, 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 you have eyeballs because you're an eye doctor. Are they used for something, like to teach about the eye or something? Uh, no? The, no? Uh, we, we use, you mean... The fake ones, the fake the, eyes. The fake eyeballs, these are just fake eyeballs. These are just everyday fake. These are just But plastic. I mean, what do you use them for, anything? For, for, I use... Fake you, eyeballs you, for Halloween. I know. <laughs> <laughs> As an eye doctor, you don't use fake eyeballs no, for anything. No, we use real stuff. <laughs> but is that a fake eyeball that a person who needs a prosthetic eye would be putting in his head? A prosthetic eyes are different than this, but okay. I do have a gentleman who actually makes uh, prosthetic eyes. Actually, he's he's becoming renowned throughout the United States. His name is Nate Modich, M-O-T-I-C-H. And Nate makes the most unbelievably realistic eyes. And I've posted pictures of them. They look like diseased eyes. Oh, or, no. Or, and he also makes nice ones, too. Uh, <laughs> and he sells them to Halloween enthusiasts like myself to uh-huh. put in skeletons and zombies, and and they're really gross. I meant to bring one, and I left it on my desk at home. Oh. It's freaking. <laughs> anyway. But this is really amazing what you do because you've created this whole different persona of yourself and this whole character. You've really spent the time to break up a, a history about him, about Doctor Terrorize. Yeah. yeah, it's just fun. That's pretty As a amazing. story, yeah, 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 it's fun. Have it's you done a video? Amazing. I mean, we, that sort of tells the story. No, that's that's in the works. It's in the works. Yeah. All right. We need to take a little break. Sure. I think I missed it already, but we've got to go back to it. Okay. We'll take a little <laughs> break, and we'll be right back with, with Dr. Terror Eyes, better known as Dr. William Ramsey. Or may, maybe your alter ego is your more famous name. Could be. I'm not so sure. We'll be right back. 
<laughs> the weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Some fog patches this morning, otherwise sunshine mixing with clouds today and warm. Watch out for a shower or thunderstorm this afternoon, the high 82 to 86. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy with a shower or thunderstorm in the area. Those will range from the upper 50s in the northwest part of the zone to 66 in the southeast part. And for tomorrow, becoming partly sunny with lower humidity, the highs in the upper 70s to near 80. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Are you a mom looking for inspiration? Are you creative? Mamazine.com is a lifestyle blog designed for the local mom to be inspired by the beauty of motherhood while staying current on local events and issues. Visit Mamazine.com today to find events around town, recipes, imaginative play ideas, and more. Mamazine.com. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Avoid fried food during the flu season. It's loaded with unhealthy saturated fats which suppress our resistance to infectious disease. So instead of fried, go for food that's steamed or grilled. We should all get in the habit of carrying a package of alcohol wipes when we travel and cleaning every surface near our seat before we start touching anything. Next time you need to calm your frazzled nerves or beat back a case of the blues, try this. Eat some cantaloupe. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Now is the time to take advantage of Florida Credit Union CD specials. Our 36-month CD comes in at 1.26% APY. A 24-month is working for you at 1.0% APY. And our 12-month at 0.75% APY. All CD rate specials require $10,000 minimum. With friendly service and rates like these, it's not hard to see why Florida Credit Union has your CD options covered. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Call 352-237-8222 for more information. Must act by 11514. All right, uh, 20, I'll, I'll 20 minutes after Thanks. 11 o'clock, Dr. Tara Eyes is in the studio, also known as Dr. William Ramsey. So we've, we've been uh, kind of all over the map, but there's a couple of specific things I want to make sure I ask. You have 500 bats? We have, at our, our property, we have 20 acres uh, right now at our farm, and there's a bat house. And, and bat houses are, you know, wooden structures that bats right, live in. Right. And we, we have, when we counted last year, just before Halloween, we had uh, my son and I counted five, just about five hundred. Wow! And they they have babies. So Do they just take care of themselves? You don't yeah, have to feed them. Don't touch them. No purine in a bat chow. No, no, no there's <laughs> there are woods all around the back and the side of our house. Okay. So they're mosquitoes, and they eat mosquitoes. They eat bugs. So you don't, I mean, you just give them a place, and they, they take care of the rest. They have their own How little, did they know to move in there? No, it was there when we moved there. Oh, So I can't was. take credit for it. Okay. It, was, it was there when we moved there. And you can buy bat houses. They're, they're small. Now, Gainesville, at the university, they've got I've a, seen a this, bat house yeah. that's, I think, like six by six by six. It's a big structure, and there's 20,000, I think, last time. Wow. Uh, that was wow. Now, now, can you go up close to them and see them? I, the bat, I, bats, to me, look like dogs with wings. Uh, okay, we'll go with that. Have, okay. you, have you ever seen a bat up yeah, close? Yeah. Like a little dog with the wings. Yeah, and, and ours are the Brazilian and free tail bats. Their, their body is only the size of a mouse. Oh, little tiny and, ones. And little... little Oh, nope. so they look more like a mouse with wings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these aren't big bats. They're small bats. <laughs> but have yeah. you ever seen the ones that look like dogs yeah. with wings? Yeah. They must be huge. Yeah. Those are the tree foxes you're talking about. Is that about. what they are? Yeah. I don't know. Those are big. Those are the, the three-footers with a six-foot wingspan. Um, yeah. You were also going to talk about Halloween. I have a question about Halloween, since you're a Halloween expert. Now, we had this discussion one morning that my mom and dad told me that when they were children, now, they would have been, they're both deceased now, but they would have been going on 90. Yeah. Uh, had, you know, if they were alive. So not that long ago, really, but they did not go trick-or-treating. My dad grew up in Brooklyn, my mom in the Bronx. Okay. I, as a child, always went trick-or-treating. So I thought their generation didn't go trick-or-treating. It started with us. Then I had listeners call up, no, I'm older than your parents would have been, and I went trick-or-treating. What is the story with the trick-or-treating part of Halloween? Well, trick-or-treating you know, came over... Uh it wasn't here in the United States. It came over from Ireland. The Irish and, and Scottish people brought it with them. And fr from what I've, I've been able to find uh, in, in the records, that it wasn't until the 1930s that they started making commercial costumes. And before that, it, it was 
there was trick or treating, but it wasn't in the same way we do it now. Now it's more fa- family oriented uh-huh. and family family fun. Right, right. And, and back then there were more tr- tricks than there were treats. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a different thing. And there used to be something called uh, uh, guising, which was done in, in England and. I'm sorry, that was in Scotland and Ireland where uh, people would, would dress up and go to people's houses and sing and recite poetry and receive wine and food. And that was a sort of a play oh, on what really? we do now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So, wine and food, that sounds better than candy in a way. <laughs> yeah, I, I would think so. Do, yeah. do, do you know what we discovered one time? I don't know how much you are into the candy. Well, you brought us a candy bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had this retro candy um, topic one yeah, morning, sure. and, and candy that we might have remembered that is no longer around, like Bitto Honey. Right, it's still around. You can. There's a company that specializes in retro candy. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with that? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you give out retro candy at Halloween? Uh, at our house, we don't have many trick or treaters come by our house actually. So when we buy stuff, it ends up my family eats most of it. Oh right. I, my, my sons and you know, I will, will sneak so out. why don't they come to your house? Because it's 26 <laughs> acres. They can't find the door? No, we're 20 acres. We're, we're way in northwest Ocala, and there's not much oh. around. There's eight. There's just big oh, okay. farms. Oh, big, okay. Big horse so you're farms. in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Uh, you talk about something named Fandemonium. Right. Fandemonium. That's the uh, yeah. Silver Springs International Film Festival mm-hmm. event. And uh, Fandemonium is, is a, a compilation of a, a number of things going on this week. Now, tonight, for example, there's the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, the original uh, black and white movie. Really? It's silence. It's a silent film. And the the local orchestra the symphony, yeah. and, the, and the symphony has put together a, 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 a music bed you know, mm-hmm. for it. Oh, wow. So Where are they doing that? It, At the Marion Theater? It's going to be at the Marion Theater, from okay. what I've been told. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, they have two times to go see it. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So That's pretty awesome. The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Matthew Wardell is conducting the orchestra. Yeah. Right. Really, a mini orchestra, you said. So, like a four, four piece well, or something. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the exact oh, okay. size. It's supposed okay. to be the symphony, okay. is what. I, I, so, do you, how? Well, with that topic, how much do you use music in your display? The thing you're doing downtown tomorrow. It, it depends on where you are in in the scenes. Um, that's about all I can. T- how big of an area is this? Well, the the. I'm trying to picture where you are. I'm. I'm the, the the indoor part of the art gallery is, I don't know, 50 by 50, and then the mm-hmm. okay. patio is probably 40 by 50. It's pretty, pretty Brick big. City Center. It's Brick right? City Center, yeah. Right down from Starbucks. Oh, oh, I know yeah, what you mean. It's a, it's a patio to the right. Oh. On the corner. oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was picturing the wrong place. I was picturing the Brick City Cafe. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. This Brick, is Brick, right, Brick, right behind O'Malley's. Gotcha, yeah. Oh, so you're in the that whole thing is decorated. It's, how long did it take you to do it, or is it still in the works? We we were there till almost midnight last night. And oh, that you was were? that was uh, about five hours, and then tonight we'll uh, maybe touch it another hour, and then tomorrow at least two or three hours. So it's a number of hours of oh wow. And, re- and is it co- how much does it cost to go it's in? It's free, free for the it's family. Free. Mm-hmm. Just walk up. Get to walk in. So it weird if an older guy goes in like me, or you just want kids. It is weird, but that's okay. We're it is fine. weird. Oh, I'm not going in. I want to see it. Yeah, we've we've got a lot of fun stuff going on. We've got you got to take a ride in the electric chair. The electric chair um, is is our our fun thing for people to. I won't I won't say anything other than it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's motorized. Do you like and, the macabre in general? I mean, like macabre movies and am I saying it right? Macabre. Not. Uh, no, I mean horror flicks. I, I like some, but I don't. Yeah. I don't watch any of the Saw films. I don't get into oh, the real gory that. stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you I just got blood that. all over you. No, this is this, it's just, actually this is all new. I put this on this year just for you guys. But where? What, what is that? That looks great. But what is? What did you use for the blood? This is a, a product. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is Perma Blood, and it looks. Oh, it's actually something they sell. And it, yeah, it actually, it looks like it's. And when it's when it's on our prop, right. it looks like fresh blood, and it stays shiny and, and it's waterproof, and that's just part of the. You know, so, do awesome. you put it on your body as well, on no. your hands? No, no, no. I have my my gloves on, and I don't get that messy. Okay. Now, I have friends that do makeup. Uh, Tammy Kane, who's a, a friend of mine, she's into the horror genre and has a horror group here in Ocala actually really? that gets together and I don't get into to that part of things that much. Well this was a fun interview. Uh, Dr. William Ramsey better known well at this time of year as Dr. Terror Eyes. That's right. Will you be there scaring people tomorrow? Tomorrow night from 6 to 10 along with my props and scary fun.
That'll be really fun. And if a big guy kind of shows up and you can't tell who it is, it might be me. I just might. I just might. <laughs> if he wets his pants, I'll know it's you. Yeah. Oh, oh no. But a bing. Uh, well, thank you. That was fun. Thank you for doing this and uh, you're giving something Ocala special. Is this the first time you've done it down there? No. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's my first year coming out to. Uh, oh really and, yeah, share. well that sounds like fun alright we'll keep mentioning it thank you thank you for coming in that was fun thanks for having oh, wait, me wait 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 where's your mu- real music this is Halloween. Like Halloween this is Halloween alright we, we gotta run thank you there we go <laughs> <laughs> great exit music Fox News Radio Maine nurse Casey Hickox wanted out from her quarantine and she went this morning Ted and I just said we want to go for a bike ride. You so. woke up and you weren't here. Here we are. You guys do often? We do, yeah. Trailed by reporters and a state police cruiser, Hickok saying she has no Ebola symptoms and doesn't have to be confined. State troopers can't detain her without a judge's order. San Francisco getting ready to throw their team a parade after their World Series victory. Game 7 here in Kansas City capped off Major League Baseball season with the San Francisco Giants beating the Royals 3-2. The first road team with a Game 6